Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man and it's time to make some more soap. This is going to be an oatmeal, milk, and honey soap. It is actually going to have oatmeal, milk, and honey in it. It's going to be scented with Crafter's Choice oatmeal, milk, and honey. I've used brambleberry several times and I really like it. It's a little bit lighter scent than what I was expecting. It sticks unbelievably well, but I decided to try theirs because it's a little more of a sweet caramel than I was expecting. And it got some fantastic reviews. So let's go ahead and put some oatmeal, colloidal oatmeal, right into our base oils. I'm just going to put a heaping tablespoon in the whole batch. And I am going to stick blend it in. Make a little noise here. So now, what the plan is, just go ahead and add our lye water in and get a light emulsification. The majority of it is going to be a brown. Um, the, the scent oil darkens, honey will darken, milk may darken, even though I'm using milk powder, it still has the proteins that will react with the lye and darken, so go with it. I'm going to take off about 10 ounces to put a drops, a white drop swirl in it. The white will be unscented because I don't want it darkening. That's why I didn't go ahead and put the milk in this as well because I don't want the milk in that. So, let's get my glasses on. Protect my eyes. Go ahead and get our lye water in. Get a light emulsification and pour about 10 ounces off for the white. Make just a little bit of noise. off. Okay, ten and a half ounces, but that is good enough. Now, let's get the rest of the ingredients into our base. So, we're going to put in a tablespoon of goat milk powder. Going to put in a tablespoon of cocoa powder to color it. And I'm going to put in a tablespoon possibly less of honey. This is going to add a lot of sugar with the milk and the honey and I don't want this to scorch and get too hot. And you know I like my soaps to gel. So I'm going to play it a little safe with the honey. Let's stick blend that up just a little bit and we'll get our scent in and we'll pour some soap.
all the stick blending I dare do. I haven't used this scent oil before. It's supposed to behave very well, although so was the monkey farts that I used last week. And that one riced on me. Let's see, that's still behaving well. Fortunately, I was able to stick blend it out. And since I haven't used this one, I am going to be cautious with it and stir it in by hand. Even It got some fantastic reviews, and I think like there were close to 800 reviews, and all of them, the majority of them were very good. Oh yeah, it's behaving well. It's not accelerating on me, and it's not rising. Yay! Okay, let's get some white into this. I think I'm going to have to stick blend that. Because that did not mix up very well. Clean that stick blender head off. is because of the milk and the sugar and that's I kind of want it to because I want it to be semi thick so it will hold the color it'll hold the swirl in place pour the majority of it in not quite all Jiggle it around a little bit, and I'm going to hold my white up nice and high. You won't be able to see it, but you'll be able to see it drop in. Oops, all over the side of my new mold. Very nice, Eric. Uh, shoot, 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 shoot. I have all days to run out of gloves. Alright, now I'm going to pour a little more brown on the top. Boy, I just made a mess of my nice new mold. Let's just get that down on the counter because it won't hurt the counter. The counter's for mica. It won't, the soap batter won't hurt it. And I'll clean the mess up off camera. Okay, now I just want to get a little bit from the top. Even my white is sitting up now. Setting up. Take my thermometer. Make a little pattern in the top. What I'm going to do, I have a little bit left over, I'll deal with that off camera, just pour it into my auxiliary mold, but here we have it. Oatmeal, 
milk and honey soap. I knew this wasn't going to be a complex one because I have a lot of additives that can cause it to misbehave, like accelerate and get really hot. So I wanted to keep it pretty simple, despite pouring it clear over the side and making a mess. I think I did. We'll see what it smells like. Hopefully this will go through a hot gel without getting too hot. I'll be able to cut it tomorrow. Alright everybody, thanks for watching. Bye. Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man and it's time to cut the soap I made. I don't think we got gel phase on this one. The sides are pretty slick, but uh, it took the full 24 hours to come out of the mold and it's a little on the soft side. I was being really cautious with this one because I was adding additives that I know heated up like milk and honey. So anyway, and then when I was pouring, if you watched it, I had that pour where I poured all over down the side of the mold. I'm not sure what that's going to do. I knew this was going to be a pretty simple soap, so let's get into it and see what we look like. I'm not expecting anything super fancy with this one. Just wanted to try that scent oil that I know darkens. Here we go. Okay. And this will also darken up um, as it starts to cure. But I only put in this one about half of the cocoa powder that I put in last week's. So it's not going to be as dark as last week's. So knowing this, I probably could have put in more milk and more honey. But I was really being cautious and cautious with the temperature because I did not want it to overheat. And I also did the full water because I knew or was suspecting it was going to get hot. That may be another reason it took longer to get out of the mold. This full water, no water discount. So these still look nice. And I'm really curious to try them. These are all looking pretty much the same. That one has almost nothing. Well, the front does. The front looks nice. And then a small one for me to test it like I always do. So anyway, wasn't expecting anything super fancy. These have darkened just in the, what, two, three minutes that I've been cutting. These have darkened already, just being exposed to the air. So I'll bring you back probably in a half an hour and show you. But these have, like, I just cut that one. I just cut it. And then look at that first one I cut. Look at these side by side. 
they have darkened already. I'm not sure if the camera will pick that up or not, but just since I've cut them, they've darkened. So, I'll probably bring you back in a little while and show you these. Anyway, there it is. I'm done with the dark soaps for a while. These are scent oils that I wanted to try that I knew darkened your soap, so I just decided to go with it. Uh, I'm going to be doing some others. I'm going to do a landscape scene later this week, so I think I'm going to be a landscape theme for a while. I am done with the brown soap. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you later this week, probably. Bye. So here we are back an hour later, and I think this is probably the final darkening that these bars are going to have. So I like this better than what I did last week. Last week looks nice, but it was really dark. So I'm glad I did just one heaping tablespoon of the cocoa powder instead of two. This is probably what the final bars are going to look like after the final cure. And after cutting them about an hour ago, they have hardened up considerably, so really happy with them, after all. I knew it was simple, and that's all right. We'll be doing landscape scenes for a while now, so I will see you a little bit later this week, folks. All right, bye.